all you Pokemon fans. Well, it's, the time has finally come for me to reveal my 2009 Pokemon costume that you've all been waiting for for months and months and months. <laughs> anyway, I've been working really hard on it the past few weeks because I have to get it done by the end of this month. For my big Pokemon group, we're going to Akon 20 in Dallas, Texas. So it's crunch time, but I decided I needed to take a break because I promised I would get this video recorded and uploaded today. So that's what I'm doing. Um, if you haven't been keeping up, the um, past few videos, um, I've been giving out hints as to what my Pokemon costume is going to be. Um, so we're going to go over it. Uh, the very first one, the first hint was the Pokemon is not from the first generation. So that narrows it down, you know, pretty good right there. The second hint I gave out was that the Pokemon's height is under 3.5 feet. So it's one of the shorter Pokemon, you know, unlike my um, last two, Charizard and Aerodactyl. So something a little bit different. Third hint was that its um, main color was a shade of yellow. So I figured that'd be kind of fun to throw people off because it could be lots of things. Most people think of yellow as being electric, though. But then the fourth hint debunked that when um, it stated that the Pokemon's element is the grass type. So, um, people have been guessing, you know, um, just giving me guesses, I won't tell them if they're right or not yet, you know. But, um, I've had several people that I'd like to give kudos to, because they got it right. Um, the first one is FF Girl 15 She was the very first one to guess correctly. She got it right in two hints. She listed a few Pokemon on there, but uh, my costume was one of the ones she guessed, so she wins that. The uh, second person to get it right was Orange Corgi, and it was the only one that sent me a note um, asking, you know, guessing what the, what the costume was, and so, yay! Um, third one was my fellow Pokemon costumer, Shaggy Griffin. Uh, she got it right in th after three hints, and then last but not least is Crazy Hair number one, who got it, um, was the first one to get it right after all four hints had been announced. So, give them a round of applause. Yay, they, they win my awesome powers for a day. Um, so, if, if I called your name out, then you already know what it is. But for the rest of you, you're like, come on! So, I think this calls for a drum roll, please. Riley Cannon Hybrid's 2009 Pokemon costume is... Leafeon! That's right, my costume's gonna be Leafeon this year. And you'll probably recognize this plushie if you watch my stop motion animation um, video titled Too Much Pokemon. There's a point where the camera zooms up on a Pokeball. Sitting right next to the Pokeball is this plushie. I put that extra hint in there just to see if anyone might pick up on it. I think the only person who did was um, Shaggy Griffin since that's when she guessed and guessed correctly. Um, and actually, it was possible for anybody to um, figure out that my costume was leafy on just by the very first hint. How, you ask? Well, if anyone keeps up with who my friends are, um, the people that I cosplay in a group of Pokemon with every year, um, they have accounts on YouTube, and they have finished their costumes, and they have put them up, and they're in my favorites. So if anybody's been looking at my video favorites, um, I have videos in there that are very, have something very in common with each other. The um, very first one was from um, Night Twilight Wolf, and she put up a video of her finished shiny Umbreon cosplay. Number two was from Drega03, who put up um, her work in progress um, jaw test of Espeon. And then um, number three was Kamikaze Chan, and she has a video of her finished Glaceon cosplay which I also narrate because I helped her film it. So, just taking that first hint again, and looking at, well, there's an Eevee theme going on here. Um, the very first four, Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, well, they're first generation, so they're gone. Um, the next four, you've got Umbreon, Espeon, Leafeon, Glaceon. Well, you already got three taken care of, you're left with one, that's Leafeon. That's me. So, um, I know now you're like, shut up, stop talking, I want to see this costume that you've been working on. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I should stop talking because I'm dying to show you guys. 
So that's what we're going to do. I think I'm on day 12 or so now. Um, we're going to start with day one and go from there. I'm going to show you all the video work in progress things that I've taken up to that point and also some still pictures. All the still pictures can be found on right now my photo bucket gallery soon will be transferred over to Flickr. Um, and my photo bucket I update that every, I put like 20 pictures on it every two days or so. That's the rate that I'm really working on right now. So you feel free to go check that out and subscribe and look around at all the hundreds of pictures I've already put up. And that, of course, the video description box has the link to that. So I encourage you guys to check it out so you can keep up since I can't make videos every day. Um, so uh, the very first day we're going to start out just, you know, day one. And it is a video of my work in progress tail, just like a tail movement test. That is awesome. So, let's go! Oh, this kind of sucks. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my lady's uh, super special awesome leap beyond tail work in progress. Ah! It stands up in the bounces. Yeah, she can have total control over it, depending on how she's standing. And it's just oh, it's too awesome for her. She did an amazing job with that. Oops, still working progress, like I said. Yeah, it's actually not attached to the belt yet. Yes, she is completely made out of cardstock, tape, and wire. <laughs> yeah. That's all. That's all. And it works a lot better than I thought it would, so. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Yay!
Jaw!